hello everyone in the previous video we created our database and we successfully imported our database here into to our new database right so now the time is to connect this database with our application so our database information is this school app this is the hosting and now let's connect this with our database so go here and there is env file so open it within your text reader and if you don't have any uh, double click functionality so you can right click on it and choose the editor okay and uh, here uh, this one would be the database credentials here you need to fill the credential so database connection is mysql because by default it's set to mysql right so i'm not going to change this out and then i'm going to change this hosting right so in my case it's uh, my server name is here so let me go to the top and this this would be server database change password and stuff like that so it means that in my case server name would be here right in your case maybe it would be different so please find it find it in your uh, cpanel and add this uh, out here so let me go to the project it's contain this one okay and then you need to fill the port so uh, maybe you can skip this port if your service provider support this so let's so uh, in my case it's port that if you did not mention the port it's working exactly right so if you are using some service like mail service then you need to specify this one into the mail not this one okay school app and uh, in my case the database and username would be same why because my service provider would be uh, uh, username and password would be same right uh, not password username and database name would be same in some of the cpanel there this would be same but in some of the cpanel it's different so make sure that it's uh, different or same so in my case it's a database slash username so it means that we can use this for both one and then this one would be my password so i'm going to click on this save and let me go back here and add this password here right so our server is good database is good password is good so now let's click on this save okay and this one is successfully created user is same name your database uh, password is this one maybe i yes it's good okay now let's go here and give it a refresh so it's going to work if our, our credential is good and yes it's opening home page so it means that our credentials are working properly so that's why it's uh, now working like this so it's displaying the <coughs> courses and stuff like that right so now our application is running and if i go here and log in my user login i'm going to log in my user okay i think it would be uh, <coughs> sorry it would be a dev at the rate of cdlsl.com oops sign in i don't know what's the password and so uh, maybe it would be not so let i don't know what's the name of this maybe oh okay this is a client mail and the password would be Net six okay now let's click on this sign in and yes i'm now redirected on the dashboard so it means that my app is successfully connected with the database and it's working properly right i'm going to log this out and then in the next video i'm going to uh, tell you that how you can uh, execute your commands into the project without any uh, without any what's the name of this one let me uh, think about this without any ssh so if you are on the windows so you need to use the put a or if you are on the different one so you can configure it uh, according to your own uh, according to your own operating system but in my case i'm not going to do anything with this one uh, i'm going to show you a simpler way how you can run your commands uh, without any ssh access so i will meet you in the next one bye bye